Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am beyond excited for this video because this is actually a recipe that I've been wanting to do for a while now and I think that there's no better time to do it than for Memorial Day. These are the cutest cupcakes. You guys have to make them. Bring them to your Memorial Day plans. You can also make them for the 4th of July. These are so cute for the 4th of July or just any summer cookout, summer barbecue, any barbecue. Y'all, these are so cute. I really hope that you guys make them. So today I made some barbecue themed cupcakes. It's just a chocolate cake on the bottom for the charcoaly grill type of feel. And then I did some orange and yellow icing for the fire. And then on top is a little grill. I'm so obsessed with these. I did some cheeseburgers on ones and then I did some kebabs with gummy bears on the others. These are so cute. I think that anywhere that you bring these people are gonna be stunned at how cute they are. And it looks like there's so much to them and so much time put into them, but it's actually not. These are super easy. These are so cute. If you guys wanna learn how to make these and watch me make them, then please keep watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below so you don't miss any more of my summer fun videos. And yeah, let's get into it. So to start off our cake recipe, I'm just gonna combine my dry ingredients, starting with one cup of all-purpose flour. Next up, I'm gonna add in 3 fourths cup of cocoa with one tablespoon of cornstarch, 3 fourths teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna whisk that all together until combined. Then I'm gonna start with my wet ingredients, starting with a third cup of vegetable oil, along with my sugars, including one cup of granulated sugar and then a fourth cup of brown sugar. Once my sugars are combined with my vegetable oil, I'll go ahead and add my three eggs to this mixture and just beat that all together until completely incorporated along with one teaspoon of vanilla. And lastly, for my wet ingredients, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of sour cream and this sour cream makes such a difference in this recipe. It makes it so good, so moist. I know some people hate that word, but it is so true. Next up, I'm gonna add in a little bit of my dry ingredients to that mixture, alternating between my dry ingredients and my buttermilk. So as you can see, once it's completely mixed with just a little bit, about a third of that dry mixture, I'm gonna add half or a third of my two thirds cup of buttermilk. And then I'm just alternating back and forth between the dry mixture and the buttermilk until both are completely gone and everything is completely incorporated. Lastly, I'm just going to add a cup of mini chocolate chips and mix that in by hand because you don't want to over mix your batter. And then I'm going to add that to my cupcake pan. So I'm just filling these about two thirds way full and I'm going to pop that into the oven at 365 for about 15 to 17 minutes. So when it's time to start your toppings, you have a lot of candy melts to be working with. So I decided to start with the biggest design first. I'm making my grill outlines. I will leave this template down below in the description box, but it is just circles with some lines to make it look like a grill. And I'm using a black candy melt for this just so that it kind of looks a bit different than the other toppings that we put on, but you can make it dark brown. It doesn't matter, you can make it gray and you just wanna kinda of make sure that they're all even and they don't look too messy, just because this is the only part that is straight lines. Next up, I just melted some circle regular chocolate candy melts, and then on top of that, I'm doing a, a yellow square to look like cheese on top of my hamburger. I love these. I didn't even know I was gonna make these and I ended up absolutely falling in love with them. So now for our kebabs, these are what make the cupcake, I think. These are to die for. As you can see, I just got a rainbow pack of gummy bears and I am cutting each gummy bear in half because you don't really want your kebabs to look like a bear. You just want them to look like little pieces of food. So I am cutting them all in half. Then I am taking a toothpick and I'm putting about four gummy bears onto my toothpick. You can put three to four, but I thought that four looked cute because it brought in a lot of different colors. And I'm just filling my toothpick with these gummy bears and it's going to look like a kebab filled with some veggies or fruit or whatever you please. Once 
Once all of our toppings for our grill tops are done, you can set those aside, make sure all the candy melts completely harden and you can start your icing. So I'm just doing a regular buttercream icing. I'm using two sticks of softened butter and I'm going to mix that on a medium speed with my stand mixer. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in four tablespoons of whole milk to this. You can use whatever milk that you'd like, but I think that whole milk makes such a difference with the taste. Then I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla. And lastly, I'm going to add in about three to four cups of powdered sugar. You can use more if it's not setting up right, or you can add more milk if it is too set up. So now I have just cut my buttercream icing recipe in half and I'm putting them in two separate bowls. I'm going to be dyeing them both different colors. So one of them I'm going to dye yellow and the other one orange to resemble fire underneath our grill toppers. Once you've dyed each bowl, you can go ahead and add them to your piping bag. I am not using any crazy technique here. I'm just taking my spatula and adding a little bit of my yellow and a little bit of my orange and it comes out in this really cool tie-dye design. I think that this is perfect for a fire look because fire isn't just one color, it's a couple colors. So I thought that this just looked so perfect. Now you can go ahead and ice your cupcakes. I'm just doing a big star tip to make that resemble a fire even more. And then once your cupcakes are iced, you can go ahead and start adding your grill top. So I'm just adding my grill top to the center of the cupcake and you don't really wanna press down too hard on the rim of the grill top because it might break. So try and press down on that very middle spot and really just don't even try and press down too much because you really don't wanna risk them breaking if you didn't make too many extras. And now you can't exactly see how I added these on, but I just put some melted candy melt onto the backs of each of my kebabs or hamburgers and attach them to the top of that grill. You don't wanna to put too much because you don't wanna see the color of the candy melt, but just a little bit and they will stick. They're also gonna to stick to that icing underneath the grill top, so you'll be fine. They're not gonna fall off, but adding some candy melts as a little bit of piece of glue will help. to these barbecue inspired cupcakes. I hope that you guys liked watching this video. I had so much fun making these. I've been eyeing some cupcakes like this, so I decided to make my own and put a little twist to them. <laughs> and I really liked the way that they turned out. I'm definitely bringing these to my Memorial Day plans and I hope that you do too. If not, like I said, 4th of July is right around the corner. You can make them for that or just any summer birthday, barbecue, anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned a little bit. And don't forget all the ingredients are in the description box down below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!